is this great? Next, we have Marvel's White Rabbit. And this one looks like they did a pretty good job with this sculpt and the paint. And it definitely pops right out. And they use this pink right here for this umbrella to really pop out even more. So this beautiful artwork. It's a mirror image on both sides. And then if you'll notice, there's been this theme of webbing on the side of these boxes, except for, of course, the first two that we had that were white boxes. So, well, just to show, there we go. All right, so these last four have that, and they have this really cool spider symbol right here. So let's get Marvel's White Rabbit out, but let's read the back first. And so, doesn't that look cool? It actually does. So, Marvel's White Rabbit. A brilliant woman with a twisted mind. Dr. Lorena Dodson is the deranged queen of crime. The White Rabbit. So, let's get her on out. That looks really cool. And so, there we are. And first thing I noticed is, oops, right here is this glider. Look how cool this flame glider is. So, and we'll show a little bit more in a little bit, but look at that. Doesn't that look outstanding? It comes with a stand, look at this. Big enough outstanding. We can pop that in there. We'll set that aside so we can really take a look. Boom, boom, to the job. Get uh, this umbrella that's unfortunately been sitting in there too long and it's soft right here, so it's not straight at the moment. It's all right. This way. All right. So, man, let's take a look at this face sculpt, the hair sculpt, just overall. It's unfortunately has a little bit of artifacts there, and I didn't realize that I had pinched my skin right there. Look at that. Um. But man, definitely looks cool. The paint job on there. There's a little bit of blemishes, I will say that, like right here and so on. But I definitely like how it's kind of like, this, um, there's highlights and so on, by the way. It's, it's kind of like dry brushed or something on there. It's cool how there's the, like a pocket watch going from there to there. And then this is a jacket that looks like it could come off. But again, like figures, other figures we've had, well, the jackets come off you're still stuck with the sleeves of the suit so there's really no point in taking it off unless you have arms to replace it with so it's cool how there's um, a bow tie right here and it's just loose on there so the head moves only so far forward and so far back because the hair is going to restrict it from going back and the bow tie is going to restrict it from coming forward and you can take the bow tie off if you pop the head off but no thanks we'll leave it on there these rabbit ears look cool head does turn pretty well and the hair is soft, but it's since it's a big amount of it, it doesn't feel so soft there. But it definitely looks like it's blowing in the wind, so I like the way that looks. The arms do move around pretty well. The arms go back really well also. And they do not move anywhere um, on the bicep, but they do move here at the elbow. They come into about a 90 degree angle, just almost a 90 degree angle. And then they'll turn there. Um, the wrists do go back and forth. It looks like they're able to hold accessories. Clearly, we're going to want her to hold this, but it um, doesn't come with any of their accessories. Does the waist move? Uh, no, but it's definitely got that very subtle ab crunch right there. The rib cage, I'm like, ugh, it only moves so much. Look, just barely. Got a really good sculpt. The legs come almost straight out um, pretty good knee joints with a double joint on the knee um, moves to the high part of the thigh and it has a pretty good um, um, hip joint there we go moves there oops and that means it was not as strong as I thought it was right there in the knee if it's gonna move that much like that look at that um, it does have the ability to move here which I don't like it to move there so I'm glad it's actually pretty stiff there and then let's see right here on these big furry boots. 
There's some great articulation for the ankles and the feet. So let's see what we can do here to get a really good pose. Maybe we wanna... Oh, I didn't really show the umbrella too much yet. And our other Spider-Man fell again. <laughs> it's got a pretty good sculpt there. And we'll just put this in the hand like this. And we'll make it look like she is holding it like a rifle. Oops. Maybe we can straighten that out. Maybe we can just do that. Oh, she's about to, right? Bring it down low. There we go. We'll just straighten her legs out. There we are. What do you guys think? So that looks cool. And we'll put her right on over here. Near Vulture. There we are. So that looks great. Okay. Boom, and then this guy keeps falling. So we'll just have to fix his foot or something in a minute. Okay. Let's move on to our last figure before our build a figure. 